people who belong here are the people who say, you know, I really want to help people. I really want to contribute. We're doing all that we can to try and live up to that vision of, you know, creating a better future in medicine. I, I actually never envisioned myself coming back to the Midwest. And then once, once I got an interview and checked it out, uh, there was no other place that I visited that had the same kind of uh, community that Michigan had. You've got wonderful opportunities. You've got a family, people who are supporting you. The people are, are different because they're top-notch, you know, academically. They're people that you want to share your notes with. You know, you want to see these people succeed, and they want to see you succeed. I, th I think that's pretty different. This project arose at Michigan because of the environment that we're in. This is something totally extra that people were doing, uh, you know, with their research time that they had over the summer. So Fred and Clay, who are two fourth year medical students, and you know, he had an interest in, in health disparities. So he said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we could listen to lung sounds remotely? And so I jumped on and kind of pushed their concept forward, but all with the same kind of idea of being, how can we give people who have asthma better tools to understand how they're doing. So the main thing that we're looking at is kind of redefining how do we do healthcare delivery. The purpose of the vest is to take something that used to only be able to be done within a practitioner's office and be able to do it remotely. So I can listen to any spot that I could ever want to listen to on your body from halfway across the world. So we wanted to make our new prototype, more remote, more simple, but at the same time, more useful. So we decided to go from eight or 10 microphones down to one, and we could really make sure that it was wireless, it was wearable, and that that'll allow people better control over their disease, and that ultimately reduce costs. Then it becomes something that's a lot more feasible for a physician to integrate into practice. All these people believe in us, you know, they, they all are invested in us and want us to succeed. And so the support, um, whether it's financial, whether it's mentorship, or whether it's uh, research, I just feel like there's so many opportunities uh, for people to succeed and really distinguish themselves here. Yeah, when, when you think about, like, oh, what, what if I had gone to that other school? Did I make the right decision or not? definitely made the right one. No doors are closed to you here. And that's what we're here to do is push the envelope and just be awesome doctors. That's what it's about.